Hey traders, Nick Shaheen here looking at Amazon. Uh, one of my buddies here is asking about it. Uh, so uh, this morning it made headlines uh, with regards to uh, Buffett. And um, so let me rephrase it with regards to Berkshire. So is it time to go long or not? All right, so the, the, <laughs> the easy answer for Amazon, it's a matter of time. This is a monthly chart, so basically from the end of time. You know, people kept trying to um, short it all along. And somewhere along the lines, I drew this chart and I put this note in there. And I said, if, if, if you can see this, if you connect the dots back here, they pointed to here. And that was, I remember telling my friends saying, buy the dip to, to, to 800. And that was right here. And look where it's at now. Uh, back to reality. A one day chart. I know there are tons of lines, but they don't really matter. Uh, in fact, boom, line's gone. Let's talk to this chart right here. So it's somebody asked me, is it okay to go long Amazon via a debit call spread? The answer is sure, but it's a bet on uh, the whole market. In other words, if Amazon is running, I doubt the market's falling and vice versa. They're not going to go in different directions for too long. Today's move was, uh, you know, muted given the headline, but it's really somebody at his office that actually went long it. So uh, Berkshire is long, but not him, although he does agree that he missed it. All right. So uh, obviously the markets are open. So <laughs> what now? I can tell you that I see levels and they are pivotal. And the biggest one is somewhere around here. And if you can see visually, there's just as much action above or below. And if you want to say this was wrong and this was wrong, somewhere in the middle lies the truth. And But they're using it as a uh, pivot point. So uh, resistance right here, resistance, 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 and then boom, they break out of it. And then they, they test it for footing and then they say, okay, we're solid, let's go. And they go up. So now they're coming into this little cluster up here, which was a complete fail before. But therein lies the opportunity. So if you tell me markets are going higher, they're going to bust right through this and it's going to 2100. Um, give it time, it'll get there. This is a company that's just blowing minds. Uh, last year I said this one is going to blow minds on profitability. They're going to be licensing the Alexa thing. And that's just straight down to the bottom line. Usually implementation into all the uh, platforms that we have as far as uh, appliances, cars, whatever. It, it the The... Incremental cost to actually put it in something is small and the revenue is recurring and it's just, you know, what Buffett loves, right? So the profitability is going to change for Amazon in a good way. Um, so I, if, if I were to hold the stock, I would definitely hold it for the long term and sell calls against it um, just to pay myself some dividends. So from here, uh, a debit call spread, sure. But if I'm doing a debit call spread, then I'd go out on time because it costs the same. If it's near the money, it costs the same um, for next week or a month from now. The markets are not stupid. They're going to ch uh, charge you half the value of the uh, spread because it's a coin flip. You can either make money or lose money just like a stock. So if I'm buying a debit call spread up here, um, I'd go out in time and do it for June, July, uh, even next year, leap. So this way, I spend $2 or $2.50 for a $5 wide spread. And if the stock rallies with the market, like I think it will, then you double your money or thereabouts. If you want to do it short term, it's more of a lottery ticket than you're okay losing money in the short term. So th these are this is the big picture uh, in Amazon. Um, Long term, it's a hold for sure. Um, and this is a daily chart. So let me see if I can get a little smarter with some little more granular levels. Uh, unfortunately, it makes it hard to look left with the granular levels. So this will give us support levels. So where would I bug out? This morning's gap up. So yesterday we had a little tizzy in the market. The day before that, we had a little tizzy in the market. So not the day before that, but uh, yeah, the day before that. So we're having... We're at all-time highs. The bulls have one foot out the door. I mean, CNBC changes the headline every five, five minutes. Depends on uh, we get one red tick yesterday, and oh, panic. Everybody's panicking. Okay, nothing changed. Just words. All right. So if I go long Amazon here, I'd have to put stops, and th this is one place I would put it. What is that? 1880. I know there's a lot of distance, but this guy moves fast. 
It's up 3% today. I, I hate chasing upside like this. So an aggressive long would be to sell put spreads. And where do I sell them? I sell them somewhere around here for the next few weeks. Why? Because this is a, uh, a breakout zone. If you want to look at it, it's some sort of a neckline right here. I can draw a neckline on it. So this would be a place where they could come back and retest, but it should hold. So this is one place. Uh, this is a shorter term. So this whole zone here is one place. And if you see here, uh, boom, resistance, you can call it here failure again, and then finally broke out from it. So this is a neckline. So if I can get some, um, if I like to sell naked puts, if I want to own shares, this would be it, shorter term, longer term. This is a point of interest where both bulls and bears actually agreed on price, so they could come back to retest that. But if, it's, if they do, it should hold-ish. Uh, this is an absolute floor for uh, since February, uh, and this is the Christmas debacle. Christmas debacle was, sentiment was horrendous, but you know if we had lost this one, it was going to twelve hundred technically. Uh, so this right here should be solid, solid, solid footing. So somebody that likes to sell naked puts to own the shares, uh, this would be a good way to generate income. I bet you the premiums are insane down here. You can still make a, a gobs of money selling puts in Amazon. So back to reality, this is a stock that is going to go higher if uh, markets are going higher. It's not going to fall alone. It's not going to rally alone. So look at this uh, whole cluster. This worries me a little bit, but it's a wide zone. Um, this is where we're at, 1960, and this is where it's at, uh, 2000 and change. So, you know, trillion dollar or not, this is a winning team. They know what they're doing. Now it becomes to technically. Now, if it follows the market, I was uh, tracking the IWM, the the small cap, this yeah, the small caps, and what does this look like, right? It looks like a massive inverse head and shoulders, which is bullish. So again, neckline, neckline, neckline right here, and they look like they're breaking out of it. Now this whole zone is going to be resistance once we get there, but um, maybe a complex head and shoulders, several two shoulders on each side. Uh, regardless, but usually this is about the size of the move up from here. Um, I wouldn't short markets. So if that's the thesis for markets, then Amazon may be headed higher. Holding a debit call spread is not crazy as long as I know when to get out of it. All right, next signing out.